Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here. Well, as we approach the middle part of the month of June, I thought we'd take a look at the Pacific Ocean. There are some important changes going on now in terms of sea surface temperatures in the tropical part of the Pacific, just off the South American West Coast. Over this past winter, we had moderately strong La Nina conditions with colder than normal temperatures. That has evolved into neutral conditions, and now it appears to be evolving into El Nino, which is warmer than normal temperatures off of the South American coast. A couple of months ago, we put out our tropical outlook for this summer, and part of that forecast was based on the expectation of La Nina evolving into El Nino over the summer, and it appears that that indeed is happening. This is an index, a running three-month average of El Nino, La Nina, that's kept by NOAA. Negative values here represent La Nina conditions or colder than normal temperatures and over the winter we had as low as negative 1.0 a moderately strong La Nina but you can see that's been weakening over the past several months again this is a running three month average so it's kind of slow to pick up on sudden changes and in fact I think now we're already seeing signs of El Nino this may take a couple of months here with this running three month average to actually reflect a positive value here but the trend is definitely from La Nina towards neutral and in fact it looks like El Nino is starting to form right now well in fact let's take a very the very latest look at the sea surface temperatures here off of uh, the South American coast and right here is the west coast of South America and all the orange and yellows represents above normal temperatures and then this is in fact the El Nino that's starting to develop we had colder than normal temperatures there uh, about six months ago we'll take a look at that in a moment but again here it is this is the onset of El Nino which should continue to strengthen over the next few months and probably last right into the winter time of 2012-2013. Now this is important because it has uh, quite a few ramifications in terms of global weather conditions here. First of all, probably uh, uh, reduces the chance of a widespread drought here in the U.S. over the summertime, especially when look compared to last summer. Uh, El Nino tends to uh, increase moisture content and it looks like uh, this will probably have an effect that will reduce any widespread drought or even widespread heat wave conditions over the summertime here in the uh, U.S. Also, uh, uh, an increasing strength to El Nino tends to inhibit Atlantic uh, tropical systems. It tends to, research has shown that it tends to increase the wind shear over the southern part of the tropical part of the Atlantic and that in turn tends to inhibit the number of tropical systems and that again was uh, part of the reason why the tropical outlook we issued a couple of months ago was not for an excessively active season but a normal to perhaps slightly below normal season. Now in terms of the upcoming winter that's still several months away of course but it certainly looks like a different pattern compared to last winter when we had a La Nina and of course we had a very warm winter throughout much of the eastern and central part of the country with uh, a lack of snow, well certainly the overall pattern of the Pacific will be quite different for the upcoming winter months. Well again this is the current sea surface temperature anomaly. Let's take a look back six months and here back in January we had uh, nothing at all like what we're seeing right now. There was a little bit of warmer than normal temperature here but not at all like what we're seeing right now. It's definitely strengthened and again it looks like we are now evolving into the onset of an El Nino condition that will continue for the next several months. Well, one final chart I'd like to show is, comes from the International Research Institute, and this is a whole c collection of models that are run to determine, predict if El Nino will develop or La Nina, and this is certainly indicating that a whole series of models are indicating that it looks like uh, at least a week El Nino will develop over the next couple of months and that could very well last into the upcoming winter. Here we are right here. Anything above this line right here, this is the zero line here, represents El Nino conditions. Anything above there again. So this is the a whole compilation of uh, computer forecast models and it looks like they're all in, in general agreement of going from a La Nina to neutral conditions and then to a weak to moderately strong El Nino over the next several months. And again, this looks like this could very well last right into the upcoming winter months. So we will continue to monitor the situation. There are some important changes going on 
in the Pacific Ocean. We are trans, uh, transferring from a La Nina condition to El Nino, and it looks like that will continue to develop over the summer months, and that very well could last into the upcoming winter. That's it for now. For the SIWeather.com, I'm the SI meteorologist, Paul Dorian.